Welcome to the first Movie Cube experience, and I have an amazing story for you. Okay, so for this story, pretend you're about eight, nine years old, because that's how old I was. So you still either like Barbie dolls or Legos. Anyways, it was about mid-September or August or October. It was in the fall. Me and my friends decided to go on an extremely awesome adventure in the woods. So there was me, my brother, my friend Vincent, his sister, Carla. On this adventure into the foreign lands, we discovered an unknown area. A huge river that spread across the entire land. It was deep, had fish in it, and was really wide. And then what do I see? A log that went all the way across the river. And I decided, hey, if I can cross the river, They'll think I'm cool. So I tell my friends, if I am brave enough to crawl across this entire log and get to the other side of the river, will you guys say I'm awesome and super cool? And they're like, Psh, okay, yeah, you're not going to do it, but sure, we'll say you're cool. I was a little afraid, though. Okay, maybe a lot afraid, but that was because, I mean, it's a lake river thing. I mean, what if I drown and get eaten by the fish? Not to mention, on the other side of the log across that river was, like, dark, scary woods. It was, like, the, like, mystic force of, like, evil woods. It just looked, like, scary. But I knew I had to do what I had to do. So I climbed up on that log, and I just started crawling. Got a little creeped out, though, because the log was soaking wet. It was probably from the rain that fell into the river. So it was all wet and soggy. It could break. I could slip. And that would be the end of me. But I knew I had to push on. But then all of a sudden, the bark on that log started to slide off. I mean, if all the bark's gone, I can't go anymore. Because the bark is what I am crawling on. And other than that, it's just like slippy. So I need that bark. So the bark's sliding off behind me and I'm just trying to keep going. But I mean, what if I fall? Like, I could just slip and go, ah, ah. I'm getting really scared. But that moment when you're eight years old and that determination that is in your brain to show that you are brave and a true hero, like those books of knights and heroes you always read. And I knew in my heart that I could do this. So, I climbed across the log and kept going till I got to the unknown area. Then, I turn around and look at my friends, have a smirk smile on my face. Then they look at me and they're just like, okay Merlin, you're awesome, you're cool. I'm proud of you for climbing across that. Well, bye. At first I was just like, oh yes, yeah, finally. And then I was like, wait, bye. What do they mean, bye? And then I realized they started walking back home. And I realized I pushed all the bark off the log when I climbed across. So it may have gotten me a cool and a nice, you're awesome. But there was no way for me to get back. My friends were leaving me in the scary mystic woods alone. That fierce sweat starts dripping down my face. I have that look in my eyes like, I'm an idiot. Then I decide I have to ask for their help. And I say, guys, please don't leave me. I know I was being kind of rude, saying I'm awesome and stuff. I was just joking, though. Please, please, just help me get across. Will you guys walk this way, and I'll walk in the side of the river, and we just keep walking till we find a meeting point? There has to be one eventually. And I think it took them a little while to think it over, but eventually they came to their senses and decided they don't want me dead in the Mystic Forest. So they said, okay. <laughs> and you guys thought that part was the, of the story was scary. <laughs> We haven't got to anything yet. So now we are walking side by side on the other sides of the river. So we're walking along, right? By the way, this ground is all like super tall, grayish, like goldy grain, long grass stuff. So it's kind of weird. But eventually, It'll come up to these woods, which I can see, but the river still keeps on going. 
So, now this is the part of the story you've been waiting to hear. So there's my three friends, including my brother, on this side, and I'm on this side, and we're walking, right? And then I see some nice duckies sitting on the river, relaxing. <laughs> As it turns out, these duckies aren't so nice. They just suddenly get out of their chilling zone on the river, fly up in the air, and start to chase me. I don't like goose, geese, duckies, any of the sort. And when they're chasing me, it can get a man really insane. Of course, my friends are just on the other side laughing, but they start flying at my face, and I'm just running as fast as I can. Then I look back, and it's right about to bite off my ear. I'm like, ah! And I'm not kidding. I think it bit, almost bit my ear off. I could have died, but I used my ninja reflexes I saw in the Power Rangers, and I smacked that goose, and it flew. Fell. I mean, away. And I knew I was a hero by saving myself from that duck. But of course they could come back, so I need to keep on running. So I'm just running. My ear may be bleeding, and I might be a bit sore, but I knew I need to find a meeting point to get back with my friends and be safe from those ducks. I see them sitting on the water now, some more of them slowly staring at me with their evil eyes, looking at me ready to pounce and eat me. But I am smart, so I'm looking at them back, walking carefully. I'm not going to let that thing come anywhere near me again. But of course, the geese, goose, duckies are stupid, and they chase after me again. So I keep running. They're chasing me and flying at me like little pelicans coming for their prey. And I'm just running and dashing till I finally reach the forest part of that river. And even though it's a scary mystic forest, and I don't want to go in there, the horrors at the river are much worse than what lies ahead. Now my friends, of course they're still laughing. They tried to ditch me, now they're laughing at me when I almost get my face bitten off by ducks. <sighs> but this is the part where they actually have a struggle. As we get into those woods, on their part, when they're walking across and I'm walking across on both sides trying to find a meeting point, their side has thorns. So they keep walking, and get thorns stuck all over. It kind of stinks for them. I, I mean, I don't wish that for them, because they were nice to come along and not abandon me in the mystic forest with the ducks. But, yeah, they had to pick out thorns for like a couple hours when we get back home. Anyways, to end this final tragic story, we find a meeting point. The river was this big. Well, a lot bigger than that, but I'm going to say it's this big. And then it goes, whoop, it turns out this big has a huge fish in it, and I'm scared, even though it's like a gap that I could step over easily, I don't want some fish like jumping up and biting my leg off or something, but I got across, and I was finally back with my friends, to safety, then we run home as fast as we can, because we don't want some like ducks jumping out of the sky trying to kill us all. <laughs>